Okay, now why does it keep happening recently? Uh, hello, anyone who may watch it now or later. It's helped me, Hillian, along with. Be assumed, Rakir. <laughs> and welcome back to Dark Souls Genesis for the fifth time. And uh, yeah, we did a bit of a grinding, as you could see from the time difference between now and last time. And why is Oscar mowing in the hallway? Give me a moment. Okay, he's just complaining for attention on the stairs for some reason. <laughs> uh, can't working as intended, ticket closed. But yeah, we did a bit of grinding off screen. Uh, we did most of the chapters again to get as much stuff as possible. And yeah, we got them quite a lot from that. What might be instantly, lo no instantly noticeable is that both... <clears throat> that both Strife and War have more health is because we went back through the levels and collected as many of the Bojman coins, trickster keys, upgrades and got through the you know, trickster doors in as many of these as possible. We didn't get to get... Uh, we didn't find every single thing. Uh, like here we, we missed one upgrade. Uh, here we found everything. Here we are missing something still. And here again. Um, but some of these I think we need an extra artifact or something to gain access because we've been seeing a certain decoration in the floor and the new thing on the walls which is probably linked to well an extra artifact because Strife is still missing one of his artifacts and oh, I just want to say that room seems to have one unknown creature remaining no that's yeah, my mom um, you know, I meant that five there. Yeah, the, this one. This is with the. the uh, <clears throat> but this one it needs a bit of explanation because there was a void tear apparently somewhere on the map, uh, from which void creatures would spawn, and from that we got a void man uh, mage's core, which uh, simply put we're not touching because it lowers health by twenty percent. So yeah, first a bit of a summary of ex extra stuff that I found. Um, for Strife, we found, let's see, one new ammo type, the beam, actually no, two uh, new ammo types, beam shot and lava shot, which are the, this one, no, no that's the electric shot, uh, I, I ran out of ammo on it, yeah, beam shot and lava shot, beam shot is, well, it's a beam, and lava <laughs> shot is basically a Gatling gun with explosive ammunition. We also got two of his Wrath abilities, if they will show. Yep. Come on, I'm holding the button down. Yeah, we, we now have uh, the, the middle one, World Ender, and the, on B is Caltrops. Uh, Caltrops, you can easily guess what that does. He throws a bunch down, but these explode. Uh, World Ender, on the other hand, is a big fucking Kamehameha. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. As for war... Let's swap over. We found an additional piece of uh, abyssal armor, which increased his health. And... Uh, yeah, that was about it for him, except for all of the health upgrades that we also found. Uh, beyond that, we maxed out a few of the cores. The Armored Flea, Legion, and Houndmaster as well as get a few extra cores for here. Uh, let's see, we've got... Uh, da -da -da, we, we got... Oh, fallen Hounds and Void Mages. Yeah, here's the Fallen Hounds, 2.5 attack power on level 1. The Void Mages, yeah, they are grants 5% more souls from creatures in chest, but it reduces health by 20, so we are not touching that at all. Yeah, at least on, on TV level up to level 3, for that's the only time it's actually useful. Yeah, but we're going to need to... Well, at level 2 it'll be reasonable enough. Uh, but still, it'll probably be a, a while until we get to that. Because I get the feeling Void you know, creatures are going to be a, an endgame thing. Uh, beyond all of that, 
We also finished a bunch of these quests in the missions. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Reach the rest and see without triggering the trap. Collect a bunch of defeat Mamon without killing any of his artifacts. Find the hidden cave behind the waterfall. Uh, learn all three of Wrath abilities. Gather all the ingots in the Inferno Vault and take them to Hell's Forge, which gave us a freaking flea soul, uh, you know, a flea core. So, uh, yeah, that was not worth it at all. I'm guessing it's supposed <laughs> to be random every time. Uh, next up, we have yeah all of all three of Strive's Wrath abilities. Fall through a drain into a cesspool in Bilal's Dam. Go find on! What, uh, find out what... Uh, what was it then? The unit to the center of corruption. <laughs> uh, I feel you know what I mean with that. Yeah, journey to the center of the earth. Uh, Staunch the flow. <laughs> Find out what lies at the bottom of the lake of corruption in the holdback. This is from closing all five of those red valves in that level. Uh, destroy the ballistas in the first level. We destroyed one, but we never went to look for the second one. Uh... Borrow souls from each of the soul caches in the second level, I think. Collect nine trickster keys and close the um, rift leaking void creatures into Ice Bind Cavern. This was the one I was speaking of earlier. So, yeah, all that combined gives us quite a bit more to spend over. And wait, was that ball here all the. Uh, why are we. Oh, we must have. Oh, we could. Because it's a random reward. <laughs> Likely. And yeah, Flea Hulk. This is another new one we got. Uh, this, <laughs> it's, bas it's a bit of a joke character. Uh, it's basically a giant flea that you find at the, you know, well, in an arena at the bottom once you've drained that uh, pool of the corrupted holy water. And okay, that almost, got, that almost sent us down into the void. <laughs> okay, Ooh, so it's some extra coins and... Why is there a teleporter here? Hmm. Maybe was something later. Maybe. But now we have a lot of cash to spend and power up, so things from here on should be a hell of a lot easier. So... Yeah, let's start with war again, since he's the most brawny one. Uh, I don't even want to know how you got these. Okay, maybe I do. <laughs> uh, not oh, too sure about them. Maybe if I get enough souls, I can buy my freedom back. A girl can dream. Those boatman's coins are pretty rare. Where'd you find them? Give a girl some credit. You know how hard it is to sneak this stuff past Bulgrim? <laughs> okay, I'll not ask how you sneak it past him. Uh, I'm going to leave this one alone since we haven't managed any time blocks at all, I believe. So, let's see. Upgrade his basic attack again. I don't even want to know how you got these. Yeah, his launch ability. Uh, oh, just... no, if I like her more than Volgrim at the moment. Everything's got a price. Just, I'm just... oh, ammo capacity. I was thinking, you know is this our uh, fire rates? Okay, more ammo is always those better with those. Coins are pretty rare. Where'd you find? Yeah, it's, uh, more hot streak. More hot streak build up, okay. Uh, 10% damage. <laughs> I can buy my freedom back. Hmm? A girl can dream. Okay. I don't so much we're buying. Okay, maybe I <laughs> Yeah. And now let's see. No, we not can get. And yeah, that's all of those souls gone on upgrades. You know how hard it is to sneak this stuff past Volgrim. <laughs> all right, so why is this glowing again? Best for you, boys. I I still do not get what is with this freaking book here. <laughs> yeah, we oh, as well. well. Now then, uh, now that we're broke again, let's actually start on the next mission, which is Eden Prime. Totally not related to the uh, Mass Effect <laughs> level. Let's see. Having uncovered a hidden pathway to Eden, the horsemen travel there in hopes of confronting Lucifer. And I forgot to look at the powers. <laughs> at the power levels, oh well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Back... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, the tables have turned. Now Strife is the more powerful one. 
And why the heck is my avatar stuttering here and there? Let's see. Maybe it's related to why it's pixelated for me a bit, without showing the warning bell connection. Mm -hmm. Is anything else trying to sap away CPU power or something? Let's see, we have Darksiders, PC Face, and OBS, and Discord. Uh, beyond that, nothing big that it's actually trying to uh, use things, so I have no idea. Hmm. Oh, well. Well, I guess we'll just have to live with it. Uh, oh. One more thing. We added, we managed to get a few more of these filled in. Though, again, I am not touching this Void Mages one. Though we can put that one some... Actually, we can put that one right there. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah, this is supposed to be Eden, and... Yeah, I can see why Strive would be pissed off with them screwing around here. Because, War well, especially. just look around. Oop. War special, he's the most angry about it. Eden. It still burns after all this time. This place, it's a tomb. No one should be here, including us. Tomb. Our tomb come rest with us, brothers. Rest. Nephilim, it is impossible. Something has brought them back, or someone. My money's on Lucifer. Simple creature, your brothers and sisters live by my will and die by my will alone. The will of Astarte! Astarte? You were an angel, charged with guarding Eden. Lucifer showed me a new path, a way to finally escape this graveyard. You, however, will be buried here among the dead! Okay, so we're fighting a Sphinx angel. Oh, and right into it, okay. You brought this upon yourself! Oh, I think I know what happened. Lucifer may have uh, played into her rage over what happened to Eden. Yeah. Uh, okay, are you just going to be running around? I see s stuff's exploding around here. Oh. Right here, <laughs> oh. Uh, oh. Okay, this is the hot streak version of the beam shots. Come on. Get back on your horse. Why is it now blocked? Uh, ow. Okay. What is that? Oh, that must be one of the Nephilim. Okay, pretty tough to be taking that. Uh, lava shot, hot streak. <laughs> it's a freaking flamethrower. Don't ask me why. I don't see the connection between lava and the flamethrower. But there are those gas spouts in lava every now and then. But that's more <laughs> indirectly related to lava, I'd say. Yeah. Ooh. Eden will be your grave. I do like her design. Same. Basically, a uh, half demonic, half angelic sphinx. Well, I think she's more angelic being, like. She might actually be a half griffin. Rise. But they did call her an angelic being, so she is an angel. Yeah, they they did they they outright out they outright call her an angel. Okay, she's blocking us from being able to get back on our horse. Yeah, and we see angels come in more variety variety than in other games. Yeah. Ooh. No. Get out of here. This is definitely the most un unusual type of angel in all yeah. games. The, okay, this guy is tough to be taking that many shots. Okay. Uh, almost dodged right into that. Okay. okay. Come on, deal with these two. Maybe get a core out of it as well. Come on. 
Uh, I'm over here, you know. You. <laughs> what is she trying to fight? Who? Oh. Nothing good, I presume. If I can get my aim on her. Yeah, she's just causing random explosions all over the place. Okay, this is, oh. I'd say that these spawns are actually being a bigger problem than he, than her. Ow. I guess I mean it's not to see why P the artifacts were nervous of the Nephilim. Yeah. And that that is exactly why Lucifer was trying to revive them in Dark Siders 2. And I guess this was his first attempt at that. Oh, and we're out of beam. So lightning it is then. Go. Lightning shot is uh, out. As obvious as can be. It's just chain lightning. There, there we go. Oh, Nephilim Root. Power. Okay. In attack power by 5%. Lowers health by 7.5. That is a lot more agreeable than minus 20%. Yeah. Yeah, she's consumed with rage. Rage and grief. I'm not sure if I hit her with that. Oh. I don't think you did. Oh well. By my power, I command you to rise. Come on, we're getting close. We're probably going to get knocked down at least once more. But I do like that the horses are actually coming into play now. Yeah, finally. In oh, in in a boss fight, that is. Oh yeah, I think. Also, we found out this. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> I was not strong enough. Okay, the side mission there was to beat her before she lapped the place twenty times. Vengeance? You turned our fallen brothers into your playthings. I'll show you vengeance, you goddamn monster. I wish her dead, as you do, brother. But we must keep our wits. The Council will want answers. <sighs> You've the nerve to call me monster. But what of the blood on your hands? Not another word, Angel. You're nothing more than butchers, filthy traitors who destroyed your own kind. And for what? The balance. <laughs> I pity you, horsemen, and you, Strife. I know your past. Yeah. Anyone who didn't see that coming, raise your hands. More to learn from her. We'll search elsewhere for signs of Lucifer and his dealings. That was... Uh, more listen. What she said... Whatever secrets she bore, I'd sooner hear from your own lips. Someday, I'll tell you everything. Someday, so will I. Hmm. Huh. Alright. Okay. Rampaging Angel. Yeah, she was on a rampage. Yeah. Not... I can't really blame her. She's been probably locked up in here for who knows how many eons. Yeah, she in Fall Angel. I, I feel like it's sad for her, in a way. Yeah. But in a way, yeah, she is at least at peace now. Let's see. Rampage. The pass to your target will explode after a short after a delay, dealing very light damage based on Wrath Power. 
World Ender, enemies killed by World Ender will explode in a 2.5 meter radius, dealing very light damage based on wrath power to nearby enemies. It doesn't really sound that useful. Unless it gets me useful the higher level it is. Yeah, likely. Yeah, and it did seem to differ peek. between them. Let's see. 3.5. Dealing light. Okay, at level 3 it would be moderate damage in a quite big area. Okay. <clears throat> um, yeah, <laughs> right round. Okay, that's a reference to uh, that old song. You spin me right round, baby, right round. <laughs> Don't say I had it ruined for me. I just, by walking in at the wrong time, I saw them doing... How you think I mean, you heard uh, that uh, a fake music video to that song? Uh, I actually made a very, uh, I made a video of that uh, uh, with that, or uh, I don't know if I used the music or not, but it was, I think, one of the first videos I edited or, or something uh, to uh, footage of the original Evil Genius game. With <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, did we, did we just get another of her cores? Okay. Alright. Yeah, how many do we need to upgrade her? Uh, she's a, a full-on boss, so it would be three total to max. Uh, that is also something we discovered. Uh, getting the full number that it asks, that, is, that maxes out the core. So somewhere in the middle, it would turn to level two. It's not that it turns to level two once you've got the uh, full amount that they asked for. But now though, we are kind of out of leads, I think. So what does Samuel have to say? It is as we feared. Eden is tainted by Lucifer's dark influence. He is not yet finished with that dead world. It holds many more secrets he might shape to his purpose. By now, others have entered Eden by Lucifer's pathway to aid him. Then we must sever the pathway. This is no simple task. I would require, for starters, an item of immense angelic power. And what angel would aid us, I ask you? None living, but heaven brought its most powerful weapons to bear against the Nepilum in Eden. Perhaps there, among the dead, you might find such a relic. Yes, the Elder Stone. Elder what now? The Elder Stone is divine power in its purest form. Bring it to me, and perhaps we can seal off Lucifer's gateway. Back to Eden, then. Great. All right. Uh, let's see. How much do we have? We have 6,000 souls and 91 boatsman coin. Because not all of the ones that you find are just single ones. There are also triple and uh, quintuple <laughs> drops of that you get. Like uh, let's see. Shall we deal? <laughs> uh, Volmer would make a terrible streamer with it. He'd, uh, he'd go around asking for follow for follow everywhere, and everyone would just <laughs> block him. <laughs> okay, uh, shall we get more health for... Uh, oh, this is a full one. Okay. Shall we get uh, more health for war or strife, then? Oh, that's a good question. The war is the one most in melee, but the bloody heck... Stripe is kind of main... Would you count mm. it as a main character? Not really, no. Uh, they both share it. We, we are learning a lot more about Strife in this, but that's because War has had his own game already. Yeah, do, we do learn about a bit about War as well. Yeah. Uh, let's put... Let's yes. get it for War. Then next time we have 5,000, we'll get Stripes. All right. Uh, no, I wonder. I thought the pathway was one-sided. No, that's the uh, water uh, path, and oh, now oh. they're both at the same power level. <laughs> and it looks well, like we'll that's... be getting a lot more, a lot more new creatures here. 
We know, well, you know there's Nephilim, according to yeah. this, but rest is unknown. Let's Hopefully see. they means new good pow course. Hopefully. Bastion's Fall. The horsemen must return to Eden to find the Elder Stone, a powerful artifact that will allow them to close Lucifer's portal. Alright. So, there's actually two portals leading into Eden at the moment. The one that's both ways. Please let this be the last time we set foot here. You are really uncomfortable with being here, aren't you, Two Strife? Agreed. Let us retrieve the Elder Stone so we may be done with this place. Yeah, I think hmm. they have a lot of uh, regret here. Hmm. I get the feeling there might be a bit more to it. But I guess we'll learn as we go. For now, uh, bugs. And there's our first new core. You see, get your hands dirty, defeat 50 grubs. Oops, save the angels from their corrupted brethren. Okay. Rubbling, wrath power by 1%. <laughs> so it's the flea, but in bug form. Okay. And a grub. When dealing damage with an attack, has a 2% chance to spawn an ally grub that bursts from the ground, dealing heavy damage based on attack power. Okay, so like the uh, hound one, but also bug. Okay. Right. Okay. Half of peace. Oh. Hello. And there we go. A trickster ski right off the bat. <laughs> okay, Hilia, just the music and the environment. Yeah. I think this, it, it this, is, this is not one. a happy place anymore. Yeah, it's still beautiful and all that, but the music is really conveying a fitting message to this area. Yeah, somber. Point. Uh, one thing about this game, though. Oh, uh, hello. Traitors, you will join the rest of the Nephilim in oblivion. Or do these angels look off to you? There's no telling what corruption Lucifer has wrought here. Must it. <laughs> okay, just <laughs> ram it straight through there. Okay, now I want to see what you do. Ow. <laughs> okay, Strife really seems to like going for the head, doesn't he? Uh -oh. That can't be good. Horseman, you dare to return here. What are you doing here? But Abaddon! Still stuck here, I see. Stuck? It is not by choice that we return. You have been here since the war? Since the slaughter, yes. Charged with guarding this realm from further invasion. Protecting its secrets from heathens, such as yourselves. Now oh, get after your high horse. Oh wait, we're the one with horses. We are here for Lucifer. By the look of things you've already met. The overwhelmed by forces spread corruption within our ranks. Even Astarte, my greatest warrior, has... We've already dealt with Astarte. She won't be tormenting the dead any longer. I suppose I should thank you. That monster you faced was not Astarte. She was more than a soldier to me. I may not have found the strength to strike her down as my enemy. You've done me a service, but evil still spreads through our ranks. Hmm. Okay, this is a bit interesting. Yep, if he right. was... Hmm? He has both his eyes. Uh, we're only seeing a side view of him at the moment. Then again, he did have two glowing eyes earlier, yeah. Uh, can you continue? Uh, what do you want to say? Yep. Yeah. I'm guessing from this, he means that he and Astarte were, yeah, pro possibly lovers or something akin to that. Lovers and, or friend. And which might be why he ignored his second in command 
uh, in the later, well, in the earlier games, later in the timeline, why he didn't seem as interested in her. Corrupted angels overwhelm our forces. Destroying them would be a mercy and a blow to Lucifer's ambitions here. Do this while I seek out the source of the corruption. We will destroy what corruption we find, so long as it does not delay our mission. The temporary alliance, then. We got a lot of those lately. Yeah. Let's see. Corrupted Angel. Increases Strive's ammo capacity by 5%. Increases warps, Warple Blade damage by 2.5. We actually haven't been using that much, if at all, in combat. Yeah, I think you did, did it today during grinding by accident? No, uh, not really but by yeah. accident, more just throwing it out because there was little else to do. <laughs> I gotta say, this place really does look nice. Look, really does look nice. Yeah, even doing a... Uh... Stumber Manor. Okay, let's not try to accident out. Let's try not to accidentally kill the angels. <laughs> I can say this: even with the bo sm this very small critics we have in this game, it's still a good game. Very good one. Yeah, and there's that freaking symbol again. Yeah, I hope we get to know that soon. But something I've seen in all the games so far is they. The artists for these these four games so far are very good at capturing the atmosphere and a match at Yeah. Yeah. This is definitely a paradise lost. <laughs> or yeah. I think in terms of Eden has fallen. Or a fallen Eden. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's. Most of my, uh, a good part of my criticisms comes from me just not enjoying this type of, uh, oh, this type of genre as much as others. In part because, yeah, I, I just lose track in big fights and all of that. And there is that freaking thing again. So I think we're getting something related to it somewhere around here. And we'll finally learn what the hell is up with it. Yeah, nope. Mm. But the thing about it, in, on Diablo, I didn't have that problem with you to talk about. Do it again. You're not as far away from your character as you are here on Diablo 3. Yeah. I find I find it a lot more enjoyable to have the camera up closer. Yeah, or like, if it is a, w a further away, to have it, uh, yeah, more of a strategy game like Commandos 2 and Age of Mythology. Yeah. Uh, what I think they could done good here is able to scroll closer and further away. Yeah. Do you kind also, of hint, hint, nudge, nudge. What? Uh, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, with me mentioning those two specific games. Oh. <laughs> Aether Spark. When activating an Aether platform, sends out a spark that can be controlled to seek out and power up inactive Aether panels. When activated without an Aether platform, fires out a spark for a short distance that will snare enemies. Okay. So, yeah, equip. It is. Yeah, that it is. Aether platform. Uh, to send a spark. Okay. Now we're finally go. Oh. But I'd say this must be the Elder Stone. Uh, yeah. I'm. I'm going to agree with you halfway there, Strife. You are no expert. Oh dear. Divine power to shape world. It must be wielded with care. Great power. Responsibility? I got this. <laughs> We're doomed. Uh-oh. Murderers! We will avenge a star day! Your presence defiles this place. Also, I'm going off of memory with this bit here, but I believe a star day. Uh, this, this is going a bit down a bit of a chain. Uh, but I believe with the Greek uh, god Di Dionysus, or however you're supposed to pronounce it, I say even though, the, though I have like three books on Greek mythology on my shelves. Uh, yeah, apparently he has quite a history uh, across time. 
in that uh, apparently he's been multiple gods before that. Uh, and one of those was supposedly named Astarte. Okay. So we just send it down the path. We have that there. Nothing there. Okay, what is this actually going to do then? Or is it just a mech? It's just going to trigger mechanisms. Okay. <laughs> Which, uh, well, it makes it a bit funny when you think about Warhammer 40k with the uh, Adeptus Astarte. Let Vulgrim know to prepare. So, yeah, you have to... <laughs> the... Uh, I forget if it's supposed to be Latin or something, but the uh, <laughs> the official in-universe name for the Space Marines, Adeptus Astarte, uh, would be that they are the Drunk Marines or something like that. <laughs> uh, the reason is for that uh, it's, mis it's uh, misspelled Latin on purpose, just so they could cop uh, copyright claim it. All right. <laughs> but, you yeah. Wait. You must lend us your strength. Help me cleanse this place. I think we've done enough cleaning for one day. We could finish this strife. Perhaps our fallen brethren may also find peace. Oh, are the world suddenly switched around? I really don't want to stick around here. Do you? Besides, every second we waste here, Lucifer gets farther away. Listen. Atop this spire, there is an abomination. He spreads corruption amongst my brothers and sisters. I dare not send more of my soldiers against it. Those who have fallen now fight at its side. Please, ascend this spire and destroy it. Consider it done. Yeah, now the roles are reversed and that is the Elder Stone? Okay. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, I'm missing something here. We, we, are, we, are we not just not fully using it to its full potential? Uh, likely then. Okay, send out the electric football. Uh, wait. <laughs> Theory time. They mm, said yeah. it has the power to create worlds. Did Strife prepare a world for the surviving humans from the last game? Hmm. Well, he was with the Makers, and they made a portal to take oh. them somewhere. Could be, maybe. It would have been quite the foresight on his part, though. Okay, we yeah. found the ledge. No. I don't remember they said this somewhere that Fury knew was safe or not. But still, he could have shown, still made a world and secretly with, shown it to Fury, if that's uh, the it case. Was, uh, it was the Makers who uh, made the portal there. Well, yeah, he was uh, with the Makers, remember that. The, yeah, so he could have linked knew, it up there. For all we knew, Ulfin may have known that was Strife. And do remember... Ulfain gave or Strive's pistol. Yeah. Hmm. So what what have you been up to, Strife? And what are you? Hmm. Actually, what we would be up to most recently would be. Uh, the, the most recent thing in these. Uh, Timeline, what he would be up to would be, well, joining up with War and the others for War on the Council and Heaven and Hell both. So, yeah, I. I I've. You said this multiple times already through our grinding, but I, I as well really hope that they eventually make Dark Status 4 and complete the story. Yeah, for so far. I, I suspect that, uh, like. I already know, uh, for confirm from another video, that THQ is busy with many current releases. And as well, 
the damn pandemic came shortly yeah. after this one was released. So yeah, not so, the best of time for development. Yeah, and they probably need wanted a lot of time to even plan how to make the next game. Well, they sure as heck have a lot more extra time to plan it. But that's where they are stuck with planning. Yeah. No, let's and they probably see. knew they want to make it a proper finale. Okay, seems you missed quite a lot. Oh, bloody. Yeah, we did. And also, if uh, it, sorry if I interrupted you there again. Uh, no, you didn't. Uh, sent out the football again. Okay, now that opens up the way. Oh, no, that. Okay, that's. <laughs> I didn't expect to find this here. Thank you. Nice. More. It's kind of funny. I don't know if he, he was grinding and talking. I was one, uh, looking at this and wondering. I said to myself, I don't know if there's supposed to be something or air related. And uh, lo and behold, lightning. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now to send it the other way. So I'm guessing there's... Oh, oh, there. Okay, no. Alright, I was expecting to find something else it would need to be sent to, but no. We just used this one. Being here again? After what we did? It, it seems that... Yeah, it seems that them turning on their brothers and um, turning on the Nephilim seems to weigh the heaviest in strife of all of them. What we yeah. Did was necessary. The Nephilim's very existence was an affront to the balance. The Nephilim? You're talking like it wasn't our people we left in the ground here. We are horsemen. Four of us chosen among countless many. Absalom sealed the Nephilim's fate when he attacked Eden. Their end was inevitable. By our hand or another. But it was by our hand. Sometimes I wonder if it was some kind of test to see how far the council could push us. To test our loyalty. Who knows? But for the record, I know you've got my back. And you better know I've got yours. We ride together into oblivion. <laughs> okay, they, they might not be able to really stand each other, but they've got each other's backs. Yeah, I can see him regretting to massacre his entire own people, but I also see they were very against what they did to Eden as well. Yeah. Uh, give me a moment here, attempt to correct something, because this seems to what be a bit the... off. If... Apples? Yeah, apples of Eden. They still look fresh. There we go. Nope. Uh, let's see. Now, where is that? Are we supposed to use that to get over that? Let's see. Oh, there we go. I get the feeling that was one of the... I get the feeling it might have been another... Animal kill uh, mini target or something good. <laughs> okay, just have your fun taking these things around, Strife. <laughs> All right. Even more bugs. Because where would there not be decay if there were not bugs? Go. Uh, and of course, now the big boys come out. Okay, so we give them the box spray. Um. Uh, I think you just had a fear time again. Okay. The leader of Nephilim was the one designed to invade Eden. Yeah, Absalom. But. 
What who if he gave was, him, yeah, who gave him yeah, access? Or gave him at least the idea to invade it. Yeah, and, oh, these things again, but now I'm dead. Okay, of course. <laughs> Oh no. Because but there's yeah, only I, one I way to the, make bugs worse, of course. I thought you suspect if Lucifer is behind it as well. Good chance. Or from what we've seen so far, Lucifer is is such a schemer. And he hasn't even made a single on screen appearance yet. It's scare the, the closest the closest he has is his eyes. Yeah. But oh dear. A part of me wants to think that if everything can be uh, linked back to Lucifer, it might be a bit too much. It could also you know, be that Absalom was just power hungry of his own. Yeah. No, it could be due to what Lucifer saw from Absalom and the Nephilim, he felt motivated to think, I can use this. Yeah. If he would like assisted them in some way, but didn't actually put the idea in his head, I think that might give Absalom a bit more self-agency, I guess it would be called. Possibly, but at least he wants to use the undead Nephilim. No. How dare you show your face here after what you've done? I'd be more worried about what I'm going to do to you right now. And who, who are you? Oh. You pay for your crimes. Prepare yourself, brother. We fight. Okay, a, a vindicator of the Nephilim. Oh this actually seems to work quite well against them. And again, it is an AOE power. Not, not an AOE power, it's how. I say that and immediately they get their health down. Hmm. Okay, uh... Wait. Both well, right, so the Chaos Meters... Or the, the Chaos and Anarchy Meter are kept... Are, are tracked separately. Hmm. Okay, this is going to be a bit <laughs> tougher than I originally thought. Okay, um... Ow. Potion. Yep, oh, come on. Uh, strife. Uh, use your Kamehameha, please. That didn't actually even do that much damage. Did we grind enough? We should have, and I'm pretty sure that the, we were above the power recommended for this. Mother, me. Okay. Could that mother she talked about there, could that have been Lilith? Because we know at Possibly. the very least that she was one of the parents of the Nephilim, but we don't know if she was one of many, one of few, or perhaps even the only or something. Wait. Who is the father? Hmm. I, I find it a bit doubtful that just uh, only a few uh, could have uh, fought, well, could have uh, parented the entire species, but hmm. I'm a bit unsure. I guess we'll have to wait until that is answered, if it is ever answered. For now, we can only move on and uh, probably swap back to our stronger ammos, beam and lava. Oh, also, a fun fact that is not that is not scary fun fact. Biblical Nephilim are belongs here. Go on. Uh, Biblical Nephilims are not half demons and half angels. 
Ok. Det är biblical nephilim och half angel, half human. Ok. Basically, and so far, they are basically... They are basically giants. Alright. And became giants in Christianity later, but yeah. All right. So there's a fun fact. Buried with the rest of the dead. Uh, what are you up to, Strife? You took that dagger from Maman's hoard. What significance does it bear? I used it once for a job. The worst kind of job. I've managed to forget it mostly. You don't know me anymore. Even before this. I was a killer. I didn't need a reason. I enjoyed it. I'm sure that's why the council chose me. The past is done. Leave it. Neither of us are what we were before. I know who I am. And I do the council's dirty work. All I want is to know why I'm pulling the trigger. Then you believe I follow blindly. I believe that if you go on about our sworn duty and upholding the balance, I'm going to shoot you. You are right to question, brother. Did you just agree? I think I need to sit down. <laughs> Strive. <laughs> Let's finish up here. Put this place and its ghosts behind us. Hmm. All right. There we go. Another one of those. I'm getting more and more interested in just what the hell is with strife from before. He might be that. I think he might be an assassin before. Yeah, that very much sounds like it. Or <laughs> probably exactly so. Oh, come on! Well, you know what to do, Helium. Yeah, bug, bug spray. spray. <laughs> or in this case, bug beam. Nope. Uh, th this has been something that has been a bit of a nuisance through the entire series. Is that a lot of enemies can be just absolute, yeah, uh, bullet sponges, or in this case, beam sponges. Probably for a reason, so you don't, that every opponent is a bit somewhat unique, they're not copy-pasted, basically. Yeah, so but uh, we... Uh, even on the easy modes, these games are still pretty tough. It's... Yeah. It's... I'm a bit split on. Like, there is, of course, things as too easy. But... Maybe I maybe I just suck as a gamer or something. But, uh, yeah. Oh, you're still alive. Not anymore. I, I feel, in part, that it might uh, keep people away from the series to a degree. In that, yeah, it, it's not in the Dark Souls type of tough or something, but... Yeah, it... People get too annoyed with difficulty to really, yeah, get through everything. Yeah, then, I can see that. I and well, we've already times. seen. Yeah, we we've also seen in this game it's a bit difficult in that you're actually expected to go back to previous levels. Yeah, at least at least that it will help you to get a bit stronger. So at least this one has some benefit. Uh, uh, by going back to uh, allow so uh, it's more required to handle it. Only uh, yeah. Unlike with say Metroid and such, where the backtracking is more required for yeah progress. Uh, here it's more because yeah you need to backtrack to previous levels because you're simply not strong enough, and in part you're not strong enough because stuff is locked behind stuff that you just can't access until you you past later chapters of the game. Yeah. Hmm. Like, we've got a new enemy here. 
Come Wait, back here, you. Why do you see something like that? Uh, it just glitched to the floor. Okay. That saves us an enemy to fight. Yeah, okay. As I told the Hillian earlier today, when we played, that unlike the other games, at least this one has been more smooth for some areas, like frame rate drops and such, or lag. So we had. That, that is probably the only game we had no frame rate drop or lag. So we had other bugs that did not happen in other games like that. Yeah. Yeah. And it seems we failed to save the angels. Or if that was meant, if they mean save every single angel, or something else, I don't know. Be right back. Okay. Let's get an angle on that. Not jump, strife. That was me misclicking. There we go. And of course it misses. <laughs> and that's moving out. Nope. There we go. Now where is the other end of that going to be? Over here. And guess what I'm back with? Sandwich. Auretos. <laughs> guess again. Uh, a different snack? Well, y yes. <laughs> yes, it's a different snack, but that's what a lazy guess. Well. I'm back with an apple. All right. Okay, I think I think it's actually speeding up as we go. And why, why I'm back with apple people? Well, this map is told to me with apples. <laughs> Alright. Uh, and I always had a weak spot for apples, even as a kid. I went into the same dead end there, so that I was completely on me. This time we are not falling for it. Uh, where? Okay, come on, they didn't need to make this this big. This is just an arbitrary maze here. Can I actually stop this thing or something, or is it just going to keep? Yeah, it 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 just going it's just going to keep its momentum anyways. That's yeah, just going to be annoying. All right. Now we know what parts not to take. So eventually think... we'll find the one that we do. Yeah, and I think I know what they took inspiration for this from. Pac-Man? Uh, no, no. Have you ever played those games where you are to guide a rod or a ring through electricity, electrified uh, rods? Yeah, without I know. touching them? Yeah, I know those, but my question then is why would they put something like that in this if they could have just had it yeah, take a few... Uh, a few turns for that instead. Good question. I think they took it as inspiration for the awesome. That was, yeah, it takes a lot of time and angles to finish. Okay, I think that was the more first. complicated ones. I think that was the third piece of abyssal armor that we found, and this is a dead Ooh. end. Wait, were we supposed to defeat that enemy that's faced through the floor? To unlock a door or something? I don't know. I don't I, let's see. We have only two layers to this. Now let's see. Well, we need to replay this. Um, there is an area beneath us here, and we still can go over here. Right behind the waterfall. Yeah, there's, there's the cave there 
Yeah, the, the trickster cave. So it might be that they've fallen into there. Yeah, or behind the fountain waterfall, I mean, meant. But that could work too. Um, don't think there's an entrance behind it. The... There's an entrance behind this waterfall, though. Let's see. Okay, even more wrath for strife. It's more rough from the war. Okay, reach the source of the stream in Bastion's Fall. Okay. Wait. I thought. Okay, I thought we had. Uh, I'm not. I'm unsure now if we had the Death Touch equipped or not. Another one of them fell through the floor and fell way further down. Okay. Um, we have four keys, so this will do. Uh, if we needed to kill that thing, here's to hoping. If. You know, well, here's to hoping that it landed in here, or maybe if it will respawn. It... Hmm. Right? Or could there be more oh. we're supposed to look around for? Hmm. Yeah, we'll see, hopefully. And hopefully we don't need to restart. Really? And of course the temporary. Hmm. Uh, yeah, uh, we've said this a few times. It's not that this game is bad. It feels like it's just had yeah less work, uh, less time to work out the edges than the others. Yeah, or at least to work out the bigger bugs. Yeah, uh, considering how long it has been out, I feel like they should have been able to patch it out. Again, sure, I've heard that it costs money to patch it out on uh, some consoles for some reason, but still, just make a big list and make a big patch for the major bugs at least. Yeah, and yeah, this is just going to be annoying because it's isometric platforming with platforms that we can't fully see, so yeah. My big advice for this would be make the platforms not see-through, please. Because we're going to be overshooting them constantly, because we can hardly see our shadow on top of them. Uh, on that matter, we our characters have two shadows of a source. The one, the one that's right below them, and the actual lighting shadow. So, yeah, that's kind of realistic. Actually, no. Uh, not really realistic, I'd say. It's more of a... Yeah, a, you, the shadow... A character's shadow has been a useful tool in platforming since the day of... Uh, uh, the, the Crash Bandicoot and such. It helps you tell where you're going to land. Oh. Are there, you telling me wait. you've never seen a double shadow? Uh, I've... <clears throat> I know that people can have multiple shadows on their multiple light sources, but what I meant with this is uh, they have a natural shadow from the lighting around them and a shadow right underneath them to show where they are in <clears throat> in, uh, yeah, in the environment. Oh, okay. Let's see. Okay. Vortex. Hmm. Now hold Y to charge up a vortex to blast nearby enemies upon release. Higher charge levels will have an increased radius and deal increased damage, draws in enemies while charging. Yeah, passive has a chance on any Chaos Eater attack to deal damage in a small radius. Attack power permanently increased. Okay. Let's give that a try. There's still one more to go there. And wait. 
Okay, the platforms are still there. The the button just made them visible. Okay. Hmm. But no Nephilim Sphinx here, though. Yeah, wait. Wait, Sphinx? You think there's more? Now, I didn't get too good of a look at that creature, but it looked uh, like it had a tar... Uh, a centaur-like body, at least. And now we're back at the start. And, yeah, we have... We actually found everything in this level, it seems. So, the oh, only really? thing that's missing is... Yeah, finding that abomination that Ab Abaddon told about. So, it looks like we're just going to have to walk all the way back. Okay. At least we can make a straight line out of it, instead of having to detour. It's... Uh, we already opened that. Still, props to the designers ev again. This, this oh, does yeah. look good all of, everywhere. And... I can't say I've noticed too many places just being copy-pasted, if at all. I've seen some, but they have made a variation of them, like... Uh, like a, a banner I saw in the first level appeared in other levels, but I had a bit slightly variation, like one's a bit more moist, another one's a bit more snowy, and some reuse of some stone stairs, but still clever, cleverly rearranged a bit. Okay. But much is still not copy-pasted. They have done very good work. Also, with these things, we can... Well, <laughs> we can visit these shops from uh, here, since we're in single-player, or we could start co-op from it. And wait, could we just... We just went around when we could have used the uh, <laughs> the airlift thing instead, I'm, <laughs> I think. Oh, well. Oh, dear. Just as a check. All right. No. Okay, next area. Hmm. Even hmm. birds around. Yeah, there. There it is. Just glitched through the floor. I think that does mean that we'll have to reload the mission. So, yeah, that's a bit of a bug that definitely should have been taken out. Ouch. Hmm. At least really it could everything else. Yeah, at least all of that progress is going to be saved. So we'll have to... Let's see. Find the source. Probs, Kogans, behind the mask, and then abandon mission, and we'll have to redo it. At least we know yeah. what to do now, though. Yeah, and since we don't need anything else, we can just short in. Yeah. Uh, okay, of everything, this is the biggest flaw of the game then so far. If if it has, well, quite little <laughs> bugs in it that, well, stop you from being able to progress. That's, that is the one sign in a game that you never want to see. Traitors, you will join the rest of the Nephilim in oblivion. Ward yeah, I, I feel like... No I feel like the developers keep trying to push the engine they use to its limits and may have occasionally they pushed it over. Now, we don't know which engine they specifically might have used for this. Likely an Unreal Engine, but I don't think I saw any note of what they used. And, yeah, two eyes. Horseman, you dare so, to return here. Hmm. Abaddon. Will this tell of how he lost his eye then, or are they just going to leave that up to uh, something happened eventually? Probably we see how he loses his eye. And also, he looks younger here. 
Yeah, a whole lot, a whole lot less cards. Uh, we can actually skip all of this, I believe. Wait, are we be are we immune to damage like this? Okay, we are immune to damage like this. <laughs> okay. But uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't hit the wall there with it. There, I did look away for a moment, so I might have just screwed up. Or did we get hit by some strong attack that interrupted it or something? I think you hit a wall. Pretty sure, sure you did. All right. Screw you. I'm out. Okay, oh. yeah, there's no real need to go for us, We'd mo only he really have souls in it. We already have the map. And no need to go after that one because it only opens up the waterfall. Okay. Uh, wait. Uh, I'm drawing... Okay. Back up because I believe the thing that we actually need to go get with that one is actually hidden behind the waterfall. So yes, we do have to do that one. <laughs> okay, warm welcome. <laughs> there we go. Easy enough to deal with. And... Fallen one. Increase the amount of ammo that dropped by 2.5. Okay. Yeah. Take the thing over here. Oop, almost hit it there. So, is it hidden there? Yes, it is. Okay, so you're, you're basic. It's been nearly impossible to miss that upgrade then. Alright. Hmm. Nice and easy. All right. Then let's hope that this time we don't have it face through the floor for some reason or another. Actually, we can just <laughs> ignore you. Hmm. The uh, but... only bug I seen in this game so far has been beneficial for us was the well when the hound master bugged out yeah and i uh, you didn't see it but i got i fought him again and uh yeah of course i got that's how i got one an extra of his cores i got another core of his from a chest actually so the, those core chests can drop boss uh cores as well but even with a much higher, uh, with a more power from the Houndmaster was still up. You come, don't tell me. Oh, okay, they're supposed to go underground. Yeah, e even at a, at a higher rating than you like, required, the Houndmaster was still a bastard to fight. Yeah, I can imagine. Mm -hmm. Okay, welcome to the world and buy again on that specific I mean, bug. That's more on the ground than some of the die. <laughs> and now he's angry. Wait, does that mean the grogs are necromancers? Uh, no, no. Don't worry, he that a joke. I know. <laughs> and yeah, it looks like it is just better to try and avoid using the normal shots if you can afford, if you have anything else. Because yeah, it, it just deals the least amount of damage of everything. It... Yeah, I think they, they are, you're meant to use a bit more. <laughs> 
heavy hits against them. Yeah. Which makes sense considering, well, they look quite armored. Let's see. Let's go with beam and charge for now. Hmm. Is there actually anything we can buy now? Volgrim, we we have enough. Okay, we have enough. Now we can buy this without getting a monologue from him. Ooh. Collect one, collect five. That probably means that there is more, or <clears throat> more to get as well. Uh, let's see. Potion health up. Potion overflow. Wrath infusion. Passive health regen. Oh, okay. Let's see. Vampiric Rune. Continuously spin and wars Bloody Bade. You're dealing damage and draining health from enemies. Finishes with a large strike upon release. Okay. Right, and you Bradley said. That... Hmm? I remember. I think it was on the first episode you said that we plan to buy that. Good chance, yeah. Either way, we're getting these both now. Even if it is just to. Well. Upgrade the damage. Do you even read through what it does there? Fire a gravity field that pulls enemies into it. Can be charged up to three levels for increased size and duration. Fires a fully charged gravity field that explodes upon the spot. Uh, expiration. So basically this is a dip, this is a more crowd controlled version of uh, the charge shot. And achievement, walking armory. Oh Oops. dear. And I meant to pop up a message, but alright. Uh oh. Here we go again. Strife. How dare you show your face here? Why are they specifically saying signaling out strife? I'm gonna do to you right now. I suspect he had a bad reputation even before. Possible. Okay, just melt through this. Yeah, Beam is very powerful. It it charges hot streak very fast, but it also consumes out oh, it also consumes ammo very fast. So on tougher enemies like this, uh, you're going to run out. Also, uh, where where is she? There she is. There we go. Cancel it early to save some charge. Okay, root core. Another. And that's likely another. Oh, no, this is Spectral Angel. Increases uh, hot streak bullet count by 5%. Increase tremor gauntlet damage by 2.5. Okay. That's a good one, I'd say. Yeah. I wonder, Lilith might be the first demon that gave birth to them. Could be. Uh, would be a good enough uh, reason probably for them to worship her in some faction or another. Or in some faction, some manner or another. Yeah, look, still, who is the father? Like, we only know Lilith is uh, one of those that started in Nephilim, but... Yeah. Who is the father? Or is it the case of she? Did she sleep with several angels? Always a possibility. Okay. Um, take you out. Um, this is where we're supposed to fight that thing. Uh, ow. Okay, these archers are getting annoying. Uh, really annoying. Okay, we're getting up close and personal with this. Yeah, of you. Now, where is... There are you are. Okay, let's send her like the nice thoughts. I think there was an angel earlier that looked... Except, oh, he has oh, moves. No, those are boots, I think. Nope, who's... Yeah. Wait... Are they being satyrs? But they... They are not... 
doing bird sounds. They sound like fools or something. Yeah, they are corrupted after all. Now you face judgment. You... Ow, you can't... Oh, there is the beast. But uh, yeah, we, we we needed to kill those thing, you know those. We needed to kill those to, uh, to uh, summon this thing. Okay, that's probably why they fell to the ground. But they uh, have a slot to supposed to go out fr from the hair. Mm, a bit less sure, but we're past it now. Over an hour into the stream, but yeah, progress is still progress. Yeah, uh, the, the greener is unsettling. Okay. Stri oh, ow. It is going down reasonably easy. <laughs> the fact that we got an ad uh, help with that. Okay. Come on, smile for the camera. With our camera being our pistols. Finally rest. And maybe Abaddon will finally leave us alone. Mm, unlikely. Let us return to the void. All right. Uh, let's double check. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Okay, the door and the chest have reset, that's always. Uh, so beyond that, we have everything. The only thing we could get here now would be extra souls. And even though we technically even haven't finished the first objective. <laughs> <laughs> the horsemen have recovered the Elder Stone and stopped the further corruption of Eden's angels. And now Volgrim wants to talk. Okay. Just don't screw around with this thing too much. Yes, the Elder Stone. Give it here. I trust you've wielded it with care. Utmost care. Is this dried blood? <laughs> ha oh. Um must have already been on there. In any it's dried. I should be able to seal off Lucifer's pathways to Eden, as was promised. Leave me. Yeah, he's so going to use that for other things as well. I guess we should pop that fat slug before that happens. Not quite. You will want to speak with Samael. He has troubling news. Uh, troubling. Okay. <laughs> Hmm. What is up now? You've recovered the Elder Stone. Lucifer's entrance to Eden will soon be cut off. But I fear his business there was already concluded. He has promised Eden to another. Another? Dagon. The self-proclaimed Drowned King has claimed Eden by some pact. He has already begun the cleansing. Okay, we're getting Cthulhu mythos mixed in as well. Well, that well, doesn't sound too bad. We've already had some Cthulhu-like things happen before, yeah? Actually, Dagon, before he was Cthulhu, he was ancient Middle Eastern god of water and uh, farming. Okay. Dagon's cleansing is a great flood to drown the world. Every living thing will be washed away. A clean slate upon which to build his kingdom. I guess we should pop that fat slug before that happens. <laughs> That's just your answer to everything, isn't it, Strife? Dagon relies on his loyal Stormcaller to bring the flood. Stop this shaman and his followers, and you will foil the Drowned King's ambitions. Unless that was somehow... Hmm. Okay, I... 
We've seen a few flaws here and there, like spelling and stuff. So now I'm getting the feeling, was that, was that supposed to be a joke where he says the same thing anyways? Or was there supposed to be a different line or something? Either way, moving on. There's a part of me that's okay at the thought of Eden being scrubbed out of existence. Uh, yeah. If we let that happen, then Abaddon is never going to give us a freaking break. Please, no. take your time. Uh, let's see. Wait, Nothing why big. haven't we updated the... Hmm? Extra Just potions to carry with us? Uh, we haven't really been using it much, but yeah, we're, I'm just going to take a check with these here, see if she has anything of interest. If she doesn't, then we're upgrading that. Hey, yeah, I just wanted to wink at you. <laughs> uh, bullet barrage. Strife bursts forth from the shadows, firing in all directions for two seconds, requires full synergy meter. Uh, the, the synergy abilities. I'm, I think we bought one of them here. But I'm not sure if we've even seen it activate yet, so yeah, I'm going to avoid those. Okay. You return. Is unhappy, cab customers. An overflow is filled. It will grant a potion. Okay. We, we Wait, never got we... that, so let's actually get that. Money. I thought we had it. Coins are everywhere. Keep your eyes up. All right. Chapter 12. If... Wait, 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 hold on. He thinks coins rain from the sky. Uh, probably not, but let's see. Okay, there's some creatures that we didn't get cores from here, but oh well, there's a bunch more here. The Maelstrom. Shamans of the Demon Master Dagon are using dark magic to flood Eden. The horsemen launch an assault against them. Alright, here we go. Demon uh, I'm right. Christianity also did demonize Dagon. Dagon Stormcolor cowers behind this barrier. His shaman roam these grounds using foul magic to keep it sealed. Find them and break the seal. Uh, can't you just fly over with uh, those big white things on your back? I believe they are called uh, bings. No, 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 wings. <laughs> Seriously, fly Listen. over to Mavadon. Magic will not save this storm caller from his fate. Did you accidentally miss say that? No, that was completely unintentional. Sure. But seriously, why is he complaining at us? Let's find those shaman and ask them nicely to take it down. Seriously, he should be able to fly over that. And hello there. Go. Hmm. It looked a bit similar to other creatures that we fought before. Yeah, but uh, well, fishy. Yeah, <laughs> a lot more tentacles in the mouth and. Okay, lightning is just going to be a thing here. Oops. Missed one. <laughs> I just find it. I just keep finding it funny that they sometimes, with some enemies, they just punt them away. <laughs> I agree. What the heck? Yeah, this is why people are always nervous of when a Helia has a flamethrower. <laughs> Burn everything. Exactly. <laughs> Burn until nothing but ashes remains. Exactly. Then he will eat a flamethrower after. It's and I keep so... telling him that just because he eats flamethrower doesn't mean he'll be able to breathe fire. Oops. Um, 
fallen ones. Oh, hello. Is that... Ah. Okay, so that's how we find them. Wait, what's the shaman armed with? It's either a trident or a bident. It looks like a bident. Oh. Okay. Which is a, it, a, a a trident with two teeth instead of three. Yeah, do the pixelation for a moment. I thought it was wielding a harpoon gun. <laughs> Tide Hunter Shaman. Chaos from an anarchy built 2.5 faster. Alright. We might have to look around for swapping out some uh, cores after this. Because I think we're going to be able to replace some with better. Okay, a bit of a sudden music switch there. Uh, oh, hello. Uh, that, that can't be... It can be that easy. Okay. Uh, of course. <laughs> what, 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 was, what were you saying? <laughs> yeah, that it was too easy. And then they troll us by having to pop up. After the chest appears. <laughs> there we go. Oh, come on. Even oh, another pair of you, huh? Okay. Nope. Hmm. Big lancers! Yep. And, oh yeah, their, their feet are not normal. Wait. It's a bit hard to see with everything. Are yeah. they half angel and half horse? Now you face well, he's a... Uh, <laughs> he's half head now, at least. Yep. Angel Champion. Dashing deals minimal damage based on attack. Okay. And his helmet gave a little bit of a... ...horse-like uh, crest. Oh, no you freaking don't. And now, and of course, the other one lands on me for... Okay, um... Beam shot again, because it's just plain good. Even if my aim with it may not be. Well, I, I don't need it to if I can just zap them like this. Yeah, as I say, using a lance on foot sounds a bit silly, but for an angel? It may make sense with, uh, well, just swooping down from the sky with a lance at you. Yeah. There we go. It's better be worth it. Oh, uh, yeah, where is it, I'd say? <laughs> His achievement, a bullet for all seasons. <laughs> Come on. Oh, dear. Uh-oh. Uh um, I think you want to read this. Yeah. Fire a wide spread of bullets that have a chance to spawn, bo to spawn health orbs uh, when enemies are hit. Hot streaks, shots will also imbue enemies with nature enemy. Striking an imbued enemy has a chance to spawn health orbs and cause them to explode into health orbs on death. All right. So, so we basically have a shotgun own... now. So it is in his own version of uh, what War has with uh, make everyone explode. Yeah. Well, no, it, it doesn't say. Does it say if it causes damage or does? It, 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 I think it just said that they explode into orbs, not that it actually causes damage around it. Yeah, like, like is is a healing version of it. Yeah. Now, where are the other two of those, then? Hmm. That's the nest. Of course, since we don't have the map, we're going around blindly at the moment. Thought so. Hmm. 
Okay, this this <laughs> this is probably going to be pretty useful. Yeah, if you need to grind the hunt the hound master, I can recommend this yeah. spell. Yeah, the hound master is already maxed out. Oh, I killed him again and then got uh, another of his cores from a yeah yeah from its core chest. Uh, okay, oh. there's the last one. Or not so last one. Well, still, it should be useful against uh, many bosses. Yeah. Uh, another volunteer. There we go. And this is just souls. Okay. Always useful for buying some stuff. Uh, um, okay, there's a key uh, up there, but how the hell are we supposed to reach that? So it was a key. Ah, there's the second. Just... Uh, did I just what? Ooh. I was wondering, do you struggle over wa uh, the water? No, it's shallow water. Yeah, I just realized that a little bit afterwards. Oh. Yep. oh I think the animation. Yeah, the animation screwed up a bit there. Oh, uh, hello? Oh, come the. Why does this keep happening? A stupid driver updater again. Uh, let's see, Cookie O'Clock Day 21. Hi, I'm thinking of getting my first statue. I'm a massive Marvel fan, but I don't know, you know who to get as Marvel have a infinite of characters. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Personally, I'd go for Spider-Man, but that's because I've basically been a Spider-Man fan since uh, the 90s. <laughs> AKA I about as long as I've lived. I can recommend for... I'm not fan... It's only recent I started to like Marvel and DC a little bit, but as a kid I mostly avoided them. Okay, two shamans down. Uh, oh, hello. Do we have enough keys? Yes, we have enough keys. Okay. So you lot can wait outside whilst we go there. Uh, so yeah, there you have it. Then I get, I would, uh, I would suggest the Spider-Man statue if you could find them. Uh, otherwise, is uh, you doing well, Cookie? Ow. Wait, get, lightning gets struck by lightning twenty-five times in the maelstrom. <laughs> Come on. And that was come on on a different reason because that was just stupid to be a little bit short. Okay, another one of stripes. Uh, you might as well stick around here then to get the 25 strikes. Uh, before I forget, uh, uh, guess what, Hidian? Hmm? You've been thunderstruck. <laughs> Uh, about, uh, let's see, how much is the counter on now? Uh, less than 20 times at least, I'm <laughs> guessing. Or did it already? Wait, why is that not showing up here? Wait, I think it's another... Uh, it's, okay, now we've been stun <laughs> thunderstruck 20 times. Yeah, I, okay, I will sing it out, people, because I... I skipped out the singing lesson, so... <laughs> yeah, there we go. I don't think I can get the tone right. More an achievement than a side mission. Oh, thank you for waiting. Your oh, deathbed no. is being served up now. Okay, that's brutal. 
Oh, the map's over there. Look, I think I've seen a more brutal way to kill someone with bare hands. Yeah, how then? Gouging out the eyes like uh, God of War? More like, like this from uh, to the Woohammer. From Krogar. From Lissiman. He has a golden arm, so he grabs someone's head, lifts them up, and shoots them in the face from his palm. Ah, yeah, of course. So yeah, basically, it, it, the golden hand is a... was basically like uh, how Iron Man shoots beams from his hand. Yeah, it's so, a bit yeah, of a literal it, arm cannon. Yeah, actually, yeah. So yeah, you imagine I just grab, using that to grab the face and... Yeah, basically, literally shooting him point blank in the face. Oh. Okay, that was completely... <laughs> I found that completely by accident there. I had no idea it was actually supposed to go that way. Oh. And that's not the way that Strife is supposed to go, but oh well. Aliens falling down, falling down, aliens falling down. Okay, oh, so they're called... The, there. Yeah, the Limbo Chest, that's what they're called. Fallen one, and I'm not a fallen one. I think uh, no. Tight hunter oh. shaman. Okay. Speaking of, we have a third one of those to hunt down. So where could they be hiding? Oh, there's a conversation nearby. Probably gonna complain about the rain. <laughs> oh, found you. Okay, just have that deal with them. Yep, stuck on a rock. Ow. There we go. Last one down. The last of them. The barrier is broken. Okay, let's look for that conversation and then we'll head in. Good idea. Should be somewhere around here. Should be right on top of it here. Hmm. Oh, it, oh, it's up in the air. All right. Hmm. But how do we get there? Already been in there. And this is another bug's nest, so no real reason to deal with, except for the side quest. Uh, Ooh! Wait, a portal spot! Yeah, we'll just have to find the other end of that, though. Uh, there. Hmm. So, maybe it's Oop. connected already, because sometimes they are already connected. Uh, uh, I don't think they have been at all. Okay, that's just to get up back up here. Hmm. Yeah, let's leave the bugs be for now. I have no real interest in hunting down their queen. Because that's what it, it says. <clears throat> yeah, destroy call the grub nest to flush out their queen. I have no interest in going after that. At the moment. Um, hmm. Let's see, is there anything hidden here? Some more souls. Okay, where is the other end? Oh, here's the, the third bug's nest. And a coin. All right. Hmm. Okay, there's one of these levitation orbs over here, above us. And uh, maybe if we, maybe we, we go towards that with this, we'll get close to it, or at least get a view. Oh, there we go. Uh. Ring over there. 
Oh dear. There, up there. Let me use that. There we go. Okay. So, this is just here for a shortcut. Okay, that is nice. <laughs> okay, chalk that up to... Uh, now, put that on the unexpected list. <laughs> okay, now how do we get up here? Oh, wait, I, I think I know already of how. They kind of, yeah, as you, <laughs> you can see. You go up higher and higher, slowly each time. I think that's a, a lyrics to a song, no, but I forgot the song. <laughs> oh, the little one got thrown out. <laughs> okay. And Boar yeah, finally gets pretty his pretty third. <laughs> okay. Wait, there were, there were two of them for a moment there. I, I think they might have synced up or something, but oh well. Be so bad just to give this place to Dagon? Uh, not like there's anything left here. The council will not stand for surrendering Eden to demons, even if it is a ruin. Either way, <laughs> guess there's no one doing what we did. We put the past behind us, brother. We forge our own futures now. Eden will never be restored, but let it be a reminder. A reminder of what, though? A reminder of what? Our failures? Of how far we've come. Of all that we still will achieve. You claim to ask why. The answer is simple. We must be better. <laughs> now war is being the motivational speaker. <laughs> you know, for a big tough guy, you can be pretty insightful. And now the sound is back. <laughs> that thing's getting some freaking airtime. <laughs> Let's see how long it takes. One, two. <laughs> okay, maybe not as much. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Can you uh, shoot them? But did they do that? Oh, the aim went up towards it. But it's there. Did we kill it? Nope, we did not. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just leave it there for all of eternity. Uh. <laughs> We start making crushes or something. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, and while that thing approaches uh, <laughs> the, the speed of light at some point, we're getting out of here. I can speak this to suddenly land on you from there. <laughs> Uh, oh, I, I, I recognize the animation on that. I don't know when it's not pixelated. That's the hounds animation. Yeah. Dark magic. Okay, this is going to be a boss fight, isn't it? Uh, Hello. But I'm guessing that ugly ones are storm caller. Foolish demons. We are the storm. I love it when you get like this. <laughs> Okay, Cthulhu lights, get cooked. Now we already suffered this being thunderstruck, so we have nothing to fear. And uh, then again, what are those things doing? <laughs> now we're thundering the thunderer. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that's a not. That's a pretty face. Ugh. Corrupted tide hunter. Synergy charges faster, but. 
Yeah, we start uh, out. We still haven't seen if synergy really works or not. Anyways, thanks for those. Oh, hello. There we go. We are finished here. All right. And with time to spare. Yeah, ten minutes. Uh, don't think we can get another level of that done. Or another level done with that, but we'll at least get the dialogue done. Okay. Yep, and some shopping. The horsemen have stopped the flooding of Eden by defeating your Stormcaller. It's still going to need a good dry cleaning, though. Uh. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, Sammy has something again. I'm guessing the rest of the missions are going to take place on Eden. The Stormcaller's threat is ended. Have you sealed the portal? Or maybe not. As promised, horsemen. Did you doubt my talents? That does, does make sense. If they're going to seal it off, then we're not going to go back again. Only about every step of the way. <clears throat> there is still the matter of Dagon himself. By crushing his priests, you dealt him a crippling blow. Strike now, learn what he knows, and finish him. Yeah, this isn't Mortal Kombat, Sammy. Though, seeing any of these characters in Mortal Kombat would be pretty fun. <laughs> Dagon will pay for his part in this. And Lucifer. I love it when you trail off menacingly. When you are ready, horseman. <gasps> oh, yay! Uh, no. No. I was to say, ask if you can you kill the boss in nine minutes. <laughs> Probably not, no. Okay, let's get these. Actually, I think I think Strife has enough of those. So few wares. I, I get the feeling we have more coins than we can actually spend now. This is kind of insane. <laughs> Unless he pulls out something that costs like a hundred of them or something. But yeah. Um. As much as I've complained here and there about this game, probably more so than the previous games, I I'm still liking this game, primarily for its story. L like I said, I I have less of an affinity with uh, isometric twin stick uh, games like this, because yeah, I tend to get I tend to lose track of things, uh, so that's why I prefer to have yeah <clears throat> a closer up view with characters. But other than that, I. Again, I, I am liking the game, even if uh, it requires a bit of polish here and there still. Yeah, all of the games require polish, but they still really good. At least yeah. this one has not been crashing. <laughs> uh, anyways, though, for now, a bit early, but not as early as last time. Uh, we'll be calling it here, so yeah. Thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you for showing up and chatting a bit, Cookie Cla oh, Clate 21 uh, I think I'm just going to call you Cookie from now on for ease's sake, because I'm going to screw up at some point and call you something you're not. <laughs> and as always, thank you as well, Rakir. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And yeah. Uh, we'll be continuing with this tu in, uh, not Tuesday, th on Thursday. Um, I don't think we'll... Let's see. Hmm. With some luck, we might be able to finish the game then. But I'm not going to bet on it. Yeah, same. So, yeah. Let's head to the main menu. And then... Yeah. Uh, again, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. Until next time, have a nice day. And until then... Be safe, folks!